What's up everybody, it's Vince Visual bringing you guys another video. So we're basically just gonna talk a little bit about what collaborations are, how to find models to collaborate with, and basically just how it works in general. So first let's talk about what a collaboration slash trade for print is, right? I don't want you guys to think that just because it's a collaboration, it's a free shoot, it's not. The model is providing her time you're providing your time, um, so none of this is free. So when I first started off doing photography around two years ago, I didn't really know about collaborations, trade for prints. I didn't have anything in my portfolio. I was I'm, I was a newbie to the game. I didn't know anything about anything, right? My friend PK, a uh, fellow photographer, he put me onto these Facebook group chats, right? Now I'm gonna put them on the screen now. Now these group chats are amazing because they are filled with other creatives ranging from videographers, models, hairstylists, makeup artists, creative directors, all that good stuff, right? And they're also looking to add to their portfolio on a trade for print slash collaboration basis. So the message I would usually put out in these group chats is I would say, depending on whatever time of day it was, either good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, I will say good afternoon, looking for one female model to collaborate with on August 9th for a fashion shoot from 2 to 4 p.m. at Orchard Beach. Attached below the concept, if interested, you can either message me here or message me on Instagram. Then I would attach the inspo uh, pictures to the post and I'd also um, below the actual post, I would put my Instagram so people can reach out to me. It's important that you guys put what you're doing, when you're doing it, and where you're doing it so that they know exactly what to expect uh, come the day of the shoot. Now, have I ever had any bad experience with collaborations? Uh, unfortunately, yes, uh, it's all a learning process. Your job is to make sure all the details of the shoot are communicated with your model, right? I have contracts, I have model releases, even for these collaborations, because they protect you. For example, model releases are important because let's say I take a picture of the model and I upload it to my website, and all of a sudden she's like, hey, I never agreed for you to upload my image online you know that's what model releases are for basically to you know give you permission to use those images for your own personal use contracts same way contracts have a list of whether lateness is and I have that for everybody whether you're a paid client or just a collaboration I make sure that both of them are signed there are probably thousands of contracts and model releases all around the internet make sure that you pick the one that's best for you. I'm gonna touch up again on the whole communicating with your model because I've, there have been instances where I've collaborated with somebody and you know, not, you know, everybody is, it's important to not, uh, give people knowledge, you know, uh, teach people because not everybody knows, right? But I've worked with people who are like, hey, where are my raw images? Now, um, there is a lack of knowledge when it comes to the term raw images. When a model says raw images, she doesn't mean the actual file type raw, right? You know how there's JPEG and there's raw, which is a lot, a way bigger size. They don't mean that. What they mean is unedited images, right? Now, if there is some type of agreement where you want to send your model or you guys both agreed on sending unedited images, by all means, that's perfectly okay. But uh, usually for me, I do not send uh, unedited images only because that's not a reflection of my work. You know, as a chef, I'm not about to serve you raw food, right? That's just, that's just not how it works. I wouldn't want someone to upload unedited images of mine and then tag me as if that's the final product. Anybody can press a button with a camera, that's easy. But remember, people book you based off of your final results. If you go on my Instagram, you're gonna wanna book me based off of what you see there, not unedited images. Working with beginners in this whole collaboration slash trade for print aspect, um, you can't expect everybody to be great with posing. I always say it's better to have your inspiration prior to the shoot. That way, when it comes time to actually shoot, 
you know there's no time being wasted you're not you know you're not stuck uh, time is money if you are booking a studio for those who book studios before you know how expensive it may be even for just two hours usually most studios charge two hours minimum which is at least like 120 plus dollars so it's always good to have an idea prior to the day of the shoot so that you know you come in you knock those poses out you fix whatever has to be fixed and yeah you get on with the shoot understand that working with people on a collaboration basis people will call out it's happened to me more times than I can count <laughs> But uh, I always say always book for an extra model just in case that original model can't show up. You know, uh, if they both show up, that's more work for you, better for you. But, you know, you don't want to show up to a location, especially if it's like, you know, if it's a good distance away. You don't want to show up there and the model's like, oh, I can't make it or anything like that. That's why it's always important to have two better than one. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't really think there's anything else I need to touch up on. Again, everything's a learning process. You learn as you go. So whatever I didn't cover in this video, you'll probably experience it for yourself. Not every model is gonna be open to collaborations. Remember, there are people who do have their rates and you have to respect that. You know, as a photographer, I have my rates. People have to respect that. Uh, I also respect models, you know. Some people have been doing this for a while. They're very passionate about what they do and I respect that and I respect their time. So just, just understand, everybody's gonna be willing to, to work on a collaboration basis. I almost forgot, the, there's also one other site that I usually go to in terms of reaching out to models, whether it's paid or collaborations, it's called modelmanagement.com. Modelmanagement.com, you are able to create castings and uh, you are also able to boost those castings so they reach other models. There's a whole bunch of models ranging all over the country. So I definitely recommend you guys go check it out. I also have to state that I'm not being sponsored by them at all. Just, just wanna make sure that's clear. I think I talked about basically the fundamentals of everything. Uh, you might experience things that I didn't mention in this video. Again, it's all a learning experience, you know? So if you liked the video, uh, leave a like. If you disliked it, make sure you hit that dislike button twice just to make sure. Subscribe for more content uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.